Hey Sagittarius, as well as Chinese, you're rat. Mutable, beautiful fire. Welcome to the Vibe Tribe family. It's your empathetic media, Megan. We're going to do a reading for you, so just take what resonates from this reading. Thank you guys so much for your support, appreciation, time, and effort. We have someone loves motorcycles, street bikes, dirt bikes, ATVs, and quads. Interesting, because I'm wearing a dirt bike, and I literally just pulled it out of the this one. Actually, I'll show you which one came out of this one i just randomly pulled them every single time so it's interesting how i'm wearing a dirt bike thing and it feels like a dirt bike uh watching kind of day my boyfriend got me the sweatshirt and on the back is the vibe tribe family i don't know if you can see it but it's a vibe tribe family yeah it's just on the back <laughs> anyways so it's interesting that you guys could be the one that likes motorcycles, dirt bikes, quads, ATVs, street bikes, motorcycle, whatever. Eight, yeah, that one. Bikes even, just regular bikes, if you will. Um, let's see. Another one for you. I remember more about our past each time we spend a day. I start to replay old memories of you and I. Okay, past life connection is very important to this reading today, Sagittarius. Okay, another one for you guys can be what? A masculine. Please don't take this conflict, fight, or argument we had personally. It is me, not you. Okay? So that's interesting. We're talking a little bit about love. Maybe this is your partner and they love dirt bikes. Maybe you're the masculine and that's who you, you love dirt bikes, okay? <laughs> anyway, let's see what we get for the Sagittarius' energy suppression okay i get the the masculine energy because they they admitted that it's not the feminine's fault it's the masculine's fault they said it's me not you please don't take it personally okay um number 10 could be 10th house capricorn chinese your ox or saturn's energy um it could be something about october it could be something about the 10th day of the month but this is telling me that this masculine has suppressed quite a bit of things and then in their in their insides okay like in their heart in their mind and in their soul, there's just certain things that they have not allowed to, they're, they haven't spoke about certain things that they should have been speaking about. Like, if this masculine is the energy that's remembering more about their past with you, if you're the feminine, okay? And if you're the masculine remembering with this with the feminine, then this is about you. But this is like telling me that there's certain things that maybe if, if they haven't even mentioned this, Spiritually, they are definitely grasping hold of all the things that have taken place in the past lives before this one. Um, what I know is that this masculine is feeling very regretful for not allowing themselves to really spill the beans when, they, when they've had chance after chance after chance to do it, okay? <clears throat> and that also kind of causes the conflict. It's their, their own internal problem, like inside that they feel like they can't express exactly how they want to and it disturbs them to a point where they get so agitated with themselves that they take it out on the feminine and it's not well, it's not like they want to do that that's not the that's not the intention okay they just are they need to work on a little bit of loving themselves and understanding that they are worthy of the feminine's love too because i feel like there's a lot of insecurities that this masculine deals with that they don't maybe always express and if they do express they probably only express the insecurities that they have and maybe they only show the insecurities that they have instead of allowing the whole deeper emotion to set place and be like well the reason why i'm so insecure is because i love you so much and i really never felt this way before and there's something about the way that i feel for you that i've never been able to put into words um even deal with how i'm feeling like this is something that they've never dealt with in a way they don't know how to deal with it right it's the first time they felt something like this so let's keep going one more card okay the passion i feel when you gently kiss my lips goes way deep it's truly shocking like magnetic stat static electricity vibes so very passionate energy and i'm feeling it so heavily from the masculine when the feminine gently kisses the masculine's lips they feel that real strong magnetic vibe Okay, that's what I'm saying. It's very, very passionate energy that this masculine feels. Let's see a little bit more. 
Yes, the burden. They are burdening themselves by suppressing what they feel. Number six is sixth house Virgo, Chinese rooster, heavy earth. Could definitely be an earth sign that you're dealing with here if you're not the masculine yourself, if you're the feminine. Okay, if you are the masculine, you could be dealing with a earth sign yourself, right? Because it goes either way, but Sagittarius. I am talking with masculine or feminine today because this is really where it's at. The masculine's definitely wanting to. Okay, another thing I just felt before we get into the more of the masculine's burdens, but they feel like they're burdening the feminine by suppressing what they feel. And they feel more and more like they're not worthy enough for this feminine's attention, love, um, anything. It's actually them suppressing what they feel inside is pushing them away. Okay, is that weird or what? It is what it is. Some people work that way. That's okay. Let's see. Okay. Oh, yeah. Protection came through. This masculine is spiritually very protective of the feminine. This is how close you guys are. You could de definitely been a, be a twin flame. Okay. Um, connection. There could definitely be a twin flame connection. What's this masculine's issue? They got to surrender. To receive all the beauty that this relationship holds, they need to surrender and allow the suppression to be let go so they can come out with what they need to say. So, like, communication is super important. Like, you guys need to have a day, a day where you just have each other and you have the time to literally sit and talk with each other. You have number two, you have heavy earth energy. Second house is Taurus, Chinese, or Snake, or the Venus energy. So you have two, six, and ten, and those are the houses of Earth. Okay. Interesting. This is insane. This is a masculine that doesn't he? He fears. He fears losing the feminine. He fears it so bad that he's actually pushing the energy away, and that's why he doesn't want the feminine to take it personally. This is a masculine that's really trying to. <laughs> Do some shadow work for sure. So let's see what we get for this energy between. I want to see where the feminine energy is at first. And I'm going to actually do this. Oops. Feminine, where are you? Unleashing your kindest self. Capricorn's energy. Heavy earth. Okay, you guys could be life path number two or six as well. Or this person could be. Unleash your kindest self, feminines. To this person, allow this person to come through and just be the kindest you can. The kindest version of you, right? Okay. Let's see what we get for the masculine. Where are you at? Where are you at, mask? Huh. Another earth energy. Are you 100% serious? Know your worth. Okay, the masculine's trying to work on their worth. They're not really trying to ground themselves to this connection. Wow. This is crazy. Okay. We're going to talk about the feminine first. We're going to get feminine's energy. We're going to get a few things here. Seven of Cups is in the reverse for the feminine. We're going to get one more and we're going to get two on the other side. One more for the Seven of Cups. The feminine's energy of unleash your kind of self. The Emperor. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> you have number seven and number four. I'll tell you in just a second. Hold on. The chariot in the reverse. Mm -hmm. This is like I told you, masculine's really having to accept what they're worth. They're feeling like they're unworthy of feminine's love because they are suppressing the things that they should be talking about. Maybe the feminine's always open and, and talks about all these things with them and tells them how they feel and da 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 da. But yet again, you have two sevens too, by the way. Here you go, the magician. This is good. This is really good. Okay, I'm going to elaborate now. So we have Scorpio, Aries, Cancer, Gemini, Virgo. Virgo is obviously heavy. Um, Aries is Chinese, your dragon. It is also the first house and it's ascending um, or Mars. Seven of cups of Scorpio, Chinese, your pig, Pluto's energy, eighth house. <clears throat> Number seven would be seventh house Libra, Chinese, your dog, or Venus. Fourth house Cancer, Chinese, your sheep, the moon. With this, you have the feminine knowing who their masculine is. They know that they're having a reality check about this relationship. This is exactly everything they wanted and more. 
There are no pickings and choosings for this feminine. They don't have any other options open. They don't. They, they only see one thing, and that's the person they want to be with. The feminine sees who they love, and they want children with them, or they already see how they act with the children now. Okay, so it could be a situation where you already have children together, or it could be a situation where one of you had children, or you both have children from other, you know, relationships or something like that. But the feminine sees how the masculine reacts with the children and they're pretty much set on this there's there's decisive energy from this feminine they know what they want they know they see how this can play out this is the most perfect divine union for this feminine's energy and they're happy with it they're happy with it okay and maybe they can see that the masculine's a little bit lacking spiritual growth but the spirituality of the masculine's very in tune it's the physical part of the masculine that needs to allow the spiritual in <clears throat> The chariot in the reverse with the magician on the masculine side and knowing your worth. Now with the chariot being the reversal, this is where the masculine had felt aggressive towards themselves. Thinking they weren't worth it and then pushing their feminine away thinking that maybe their feminine could be better off with somebody else because I can't even allow myself to open up fully. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? This is what this masculine goes through. Okay? They have definitely felt blocked by certain obstacles they've had some situations that they've lost control of um they've also felt powerless okay to their own abilities with this magician the magician is a very big influence somebody who has massive concentration somebody who's full of logic and also somebody who is very able to manifest the life that they desire with them knowing your worth, this masculine's energy is trying to manifest their worth and see past these, you know, negative ways. So we're going to elaborate a little bit more. Gemini's Chinese, your horse. It is also the third house, Mercury. Virgo's again a Mercury energy. The chariot is a Cancer's energy, same as the number four. Then you have two sevens, so Libra's energy is pretty strong. And I do feel like because the goddess of love and Venus energy is here with number two and seven, second and seventh houses that means a lot of protection and love does surround this relationship okay i'm gonna get a little bit further we're gonna elaborate on the masculine actually i feel like we need to shuffle one more time okay deep breath masculine you're in the spotlight so you better get it all out as you can right now let's connect you into spirit let's get you in tuning into the spiritual energy ace of swords like beautiful that is the new beginning of a spiritual energy coming across ideas that are intellectual many many new ideas okay like the ten of pentacles there's a page of wands in the reversal but i get with the page of wands is they've been acting a little bit childish here and there and they know that so in order to be stabilized and have a great family life they know they need to take upon themselves and have a new idea and they know that they've been suppressing their emotions which has maybe been making the feminine feel a little insecure too okay maybe this masculine definitely has a um strong feminine energy inside them that they don't allow to come through maybe they feel like that's a part of themselves that would be weakness or powerlessness because they allow their feminine side to show their vulnerability sorry their sensitivity you know like if you don't allow that to happen you're always going to be stuck in one phase and that one phase is not the only phase that you're supposed to go through every person has masculine and feminine qualities and not every single one of us share the same feminine qualities. Not every single one of us share the same masculine qualities. But there's certain ones that we need to delve into for ourselves to find out what we are about in our own aspects of self. Well, this is something that this Ace of Swords is telling me that this masculine is fulfilling. Okay. Okay, a little bit more with this Ace of Swords. This is a concentration. This is the ability to finally, yep, make a, make a decision and feel good about the decision that one will be making with the two or oh, three is that the three yeah three okay interesting because it came back it came across with the knight of swords in the reversal and with the knight of swords in this energy in this specific placement it means a missed opportunity or chance with the three of wands they're man they're manifesting they're like i want redemption 
I want to redo this. I want to try again. I want to manifest this. I want to put all the things I can. Three of Wands and the Magician are both about manifestations. Three of Wands is also about spreading one's wings. Spreading one's wings to try to do something different and make it work. I don't want to miss any more opportunities or chances. I want to try this. I want to I want to be confident about this. I want to, you know, com communicate about this. Number three is a communication. Third, third house is Gemini's energy. And a lot of the third house energy, well, this is all air too, could be challenging for you Sagittarius Gemini Libra and Aquarius we already had a Libra energy but Gemini is the third house Chinese your horse and it's a Mercury we already had that with the um magician right we also have Aquarius the full moon in Aquarius is actually happening on the first of August okay so on next Tuesday this could be all happening around that time the Knight of Swords is a Taurus energy, which we already had with the number two and another Gemini's energy. So like I said, this person, this masculine could definitely have a Gemini moon sign or a Gemini specific placement. And then you have Aries again, three of wands. What they are trying to manifest into that energy is what the ma the feminine already sees them as. Okay. And maybe because the feminine is so elaborative about their feelings towards this masculine, that's a little bit of the motivation that they get to keep trying. But then they're like, wow, they're so kind with me. They try to like influence me. They try to help me um, improve parts of myself. And I still can't seem to get a hold of myself. I still am losing. I'm feeling powerless. I'm feeling weak. I'm feeling like I can't do it. Maybe they deserve someone better. You know, that's the that's how this masculine gets. But that, honestly, no, you guys are meant to be. This is a true divine relationship. There could be people always trying to come against you guys, um, make bad news between the two of you, trying to cause you to feel like fearful of commitment, especially for this masculine. People could be all up in their ear, their mother, their brother, their sister, their friends, okay, an ex, something like that, always trying to intervene, maybe some really, you know, like, I don't know how to exactly express that, but somebody who doesn't have any real self-respect of feminine energy um, that wants to invade the relationship, maybe because they're, they're turned on or very attracted to this masculine, but they're, they're masquerading, they're faking. This person is obviously a player too, so it's not like they would treat this masculine well at all, okay? But there's a lot of bad news that tries to be put onto this relationship or into the, like maybe rumors gossip things like that really really annoying things somebody's trying to control the situation but i feel like you guys are overcoming this and there's been a lot of doubt and there's been a lot of focus on the negative but that's about to turn around the improvement of that is about to happen aquarius and then gemini energy here as well as libra uh aries and a pisces a, a pisces and aquarius taurus a virgo capricorn and aquarius energy heavy on aquarius with the full moon aquarius is a lot of the things that are going to be quitting and knocking off okay like a lot of things that have been happening that are really negative are about to be falling off on the full moon in aquarius i don't know if that would ever even come out here let's actually get one of these for you guys i haven't had one of these for a while or used one of these for a while so between the two i saw taurus energy again between the two what's this energy what's the message for the two masculine feminines here yeah, what do you need to release is the thing. What do you need to release? Surrender to receive. Surrendering could be what you need to release. So surrender. Just do whatever you need to do to release the suppression. To receive new out outcomes, right? Confidence. Confidence is your key to success. The new moon in Leo will actually take place on the 16th of August. Which is my 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 little son right there. His birthday actually. <laughs> He's over there coughing in the background. <laughs> He's about to be ten on that day. Anyway, confidence is your key, Leo's that energy of trying to turn monkey. It's the fifth house and the sun ruler, by the way, but we're in Leo season currently right now. So the confidence is the key to this masculine success. And the confidence for this feminine for them to unleash their kind of self and tell every single aspect to the masculine of how they feel and how they make them feel is the key to the success in this relationship. That could be all fulfilled by the new moon in Leo, which will be kind of like what? We are right now on the 26th. So, one, two, three, in about three weeks. Okay? Anyway, hope it's helped. I really do. You guys are incredible and I'll see you guys again next time. Just know this masculine's working very hard on themselves and there's a communication that needs to come through, but they are about to see what they're really worth to the feminine. Okay? Thank you guys so much.